एवरीवन टूडेज टॉपिक इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिमम सेल्स पिक्स दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग और यूजेज ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग एंड वट इज ऑप्टिमम सेल्स मिक्स मिक्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर वेरियस सेल्स मिक्स इन अ प्रोडक्ट फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ सेल्स इट मीन्स देर आर वेरियस प्रोडक्ट्स इन अ फैक्ट्री एंड देर आर डिफरेंट पोर्टफोलियोज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पोर्टफोलियोज इन अ कंपनी इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव प्रोडक्ट ए बी सी डी एंड वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पोर्टफोलियोज मीन्स हंड्रेड यूनिट्स ऑफ ए एंड टू हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ बी एंड फिफ्टी यूनिट्स ऑफ सी एट्सेट्रा बी सी डी ए बी डी मीन्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स और डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सो विच ऑल्टरनेटिव विच सेल्स मिक्स इज बेटर फॉर अस विच प्रॉफिट इज मोर देन अदर्स देन सेल्स मिक्स यूनिट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर अस सो वी शुड एक्सेप्ट दैट सेल्स मिक्स बट हाउ वी कैलकुलेटेड फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर ईच सेल्स मिक्स देन वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन वाराणसी उद्योग लिमिटेड प्रेजेंट द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग टू प्रोडक्ट ए एंड बी फॉर प्रोडक्ट ए मटीरियल्स टू हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रोडक्ट बी मटीरियल्स रुपीज वन एटी लेबर एट द रेट फोर्टी पैसे पर आर एंड वन फिफ्टी आवर्स पर यूनिट एंड प्रोडक्ट बी वन हंड्रेड आवर्स पर यूनिट हेयर वी कैन कैलकुलेट लेबर वन फिफ्टी आवर्स पर यूनिट इन वन यूनिट वन फिफ्टी आवर्स इज यूज एंड फोर्टी पैसे पर आर इट मीन्स वन फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई फोर्टी इट मीन्स सिक्सटी रुपीज लेबर फॉर पर यूनिट रिक्वायर्ड सेम एज हेयर वन हंड्रेड multiply 40 it means 40 rupees per unit required for labor then selling price for product a rupees 400 and for product b rupees 300 and overheads variable 100% of direct labor in each case it means uh, that price equal to labor price it means here are 60 rupees and uh, here are 40 rupees fixed rupees 16000 per annum you are required to recommend as which of the following sales mix it should be adopted 100 units of a and 200 unit of b first case second 150 units of a and 150 units of b c 200 units of a and 100 units of b here are all sales mix are same it means 300 units in each case but which alternate is better it means uh, in each sales mix if we find contribution or uh, if we change any sales mix then it will change to our profitability so we will calculate first contribution and then we will calculate in each case what is the profit and uh, then we can easily compare so we will solve this question for solution first we will cal calculate contribution for both products so calculation of contribution for both products so product a and for product b then first we will take here is given materials contribution will calculate uh, sales minus variable cost then first we will take sales sorry and sales is given rupees 200 rupees 400 for product a and for product b 300 rupees okay then we will calculate less variable cost or marginal cost in which first we will take materials material rate is given 200 180 200 and 180 then second is given labor labor we had earlier discussed uh, about labor 40 multiply 150 per unit it means uh, 60 rupees per unit and for product b 100 multiply 40 it means 40 rupees per unit and uh, here are given variable variable overheads variable 
overheads as per 100% of labor it means again 60 rupees and 40 rupees then we will total it and then its total is 320 and its total is 260 then we will find contribution contribution sales minus variable cost it means 80 rupees and uh, here 40 rupees now by the help of this we can calculate easily different sales picks means in first case in second case and in third case then first we will calculate contribution then deduct fixed cost and then easily find out net profit and which sales mix uh, net profit is better than others then we will accept that product so we will calculate in case first it means here is case one is 100 unit for a plus 200 unit for b and here 150 a for 150 b and in third case 200 for a and 100 for b in this unit we will calculate first we will calculate contribution it means 100 a 100 multiply 80 because its contribution is calculated as per per unit plus 200 multiply 40 then its total is 8000 plus 8000 it means 16000 and here 150 multiply 80 plus 150 multiply 40 it means 12000 plus 6000 it means 18000 for second case and in third case 200 multiply 80 plus 100 multiply 40 it means 16000 plus 4000 and total is 20000 contribution then less fixed cost fixed cost is given rupees 16000 per annum lump sum based less 16000 less 16000 for fixed cost then here net profit is nil and here 2000 and here 4000 so we can easily compare rupees 4000 net profit is greater than other alternatives in other cases in other sales mix means here are nil profit it means here, here is no profit and in second case 2000 profit and in third case 4000 profit so net profit is greater in third case means 200 uh, units in a and 100 units in b so we will accept the proposal of in third case because its net profit is greater than other alternatives so comment is necessary in this types of question so it is mandatory on the same topic determination of optimum sales mix this is a question for your practice and the question is allied manufacturing company gives you the following information product a and product b here are two products same as before question Fixed overhead rupees 10,000 per annum. Fixed overheads are given. Direct material, it means variable overheads are given. Direct materials, rupees 20 for product A and 25 for product B. Direct labor, rupees 1 per hour. It means 10 rupees for product A and 15 rupees for product B. Here are its uh, naturally given or its calculated given. So, it's not need to calculate it. Variable overhead, 100% of direct labor, it means 10 rupees for A and 15 rupees for product B. Selling price is given 60 rupees and 100 rupees. So first we will calculate contribution for each product, product A and product B. First we will take sales for both product, then minus marginal cost. It means materials, labor and variable overheads. Then we will calculate contribution for A and B. Then you are required to present a statement showing the marginal cost uh, of each product. Here we will calculate and uh, each product and recommend which of the following sales mix 
should be adopted. First case, here are four cases are given. In previous question, three cases given, but here are four cases, 900 units of A and 600 units of B. It means total is 1500 units for one case. Um, when we calculate contribution for each product, then we will multiply uh, 900 multiply contribution, 600 multiply B's contribution, then total contribution and then minus fixed cost and then we will find out net profit in first case. In second case, 1800 units of only A unit. It means 1800 multiply A's contribution then minus fixed cost and then we will find out net profit in second case. Here are different units in given in different cases. It means here is uh, uh, given 1500 units and here are 1800 units and in C's 1200 units and uh, D's 1600 units so don't worry but first we will calculate contribution and then we'll multiply it then in second case 1800 multiply is contribution then minus fixed cost then we will find out net profit in C's case in third case 1200 uh, units of B only it means 1200 multiply B's contribution and then minus fixed cost then we will find out net profit and in fourth case or D case 1200 units of A it means 1200 multiply A's contribution and plus 400 multiply B's contribution then total contribution will come and then minus fixed cost and then we will find out net profit the answer will come in first case 35,000 in second case 26,000 in third case 44,000 and in fourth case 32,000 and uh, we will write a comment in each case uh, C C uh, case it means 1200 units of B only its uh, net profit is uh, best in net profit is greater than other alternatives so we should adopt this alternative and the alternative is 1200 units of b only then this is mandatory uh, to write a comment and uh, we will do this question in like manner and if you have faced any problem then you can